Hello. I'm Katie, who used to be Bobby Boo 222 and YouTube YouTube ruined my account. God damn them. Grrr, YouTube. Anyway. Recently I've been getting into a whole new fandom, which is the wonderful, amazingly epic thing band, which is Lordy, a Finnish metal band, as you see there. I've only so far got like three CDs, that's like the entirety of my Lordy collection, which I know to most fans will seem pretty damn pathetic, but I'm working on it. I'm gonna increase on that a fair bit. And for anyone who doesn't know who Lordy is, hasn't heard any of the songs, my suggestion would be get up off your bum, get out to, or even better yet, get on your computer, get on play.com and go buy some CDs because it's definitely worth it. There's just three of them. That's my favourite! The Arocalypse, lovely. Um, also, you can see details of Lordy on, I think it's Kaja 123s um, video. I'm going to put some subtitles on here so you can actually see his name and probably put him in the description as well. He has the most stuff from their tours and things, um, which also features something which I wanted to discuss in this video, because um, there's been a lot of discussion on who the mem members of Lordy really are under all those masks. And I've got a bit of a theory about Mr. Lordy, because I think I know who he really is. And I think he kind of wants you to work it out. So, so there's been a few notices and things I've spotted. There's an interview with Mr. Lordy and our where they say about what they're going to do on the holidays and Mr Lordy mentioned um, he's going to go off to Lapland with his wife, lovely, and his dogs. Now I can't help but think that's a bit of a red herring there. I think, um, I don't think it's his dogs he's going with, I think it's something else. And of course he's mentioned he's married, going up to Lapland. Mm. Okay, so why don't we have a look at some of the lyrics of his songs, shall we? It was, it snows in hell. There we go. No, you won't be able to, dear. Now, there's a lot of mention of snow in that one, obviously, and of course, as we all know, Lordy is pretty much the god of everything, including hell. And so, what does he do? First thing he'd do in hell is make it snow. Hmm, who else do we know deals a lot with snow in that sort of Christmassy time? Hmm, I think you can see where this is going. Now, there's a, I'm sure it's not just me in this one because there's a lot of other lyrics that sort of indicate what might be going on. And every time you see it, look, we see music by Lordy, lyrics by Lordy. That's very interesting there. Yep, and he's the one who keeps saying things like that. Um, good to be bad. He mentions all the naughty Lordy girls. All the naughty Lordy girls. Hmm. Naughty and nice, perhaps? Thank you for the zoom in. <laughs> And that was all in the Arocalypse. Now, they didn't, I couldn't find much in Dead Ache, but when we looked in Monster Show, we found a little more. Um, in the song Blood Red Sandman, which is absolutely freaking awesome. Not my favourite, my favourite's Bite Like a Bulldog, by the way. So if anyone wants to hear a really freaking good song, Bite Like a Bulldog, definitely brilliant one. But Blood Red Sandman, pretty damn cool in its own right. In this one, he mentions red drop stain satin so white. Red and white. Hmm. Red and white seems pretty pretty prominent there. And again in In Would You Love a Monster Man, again, freaking brilliant, and the video kicks ass pretty much both of them. There's two different kinds, but they're both good. Um there is the lyrics. There are the lyrics. He would freeze all hell over just to get a chill. Yes, I would slay. Yes, I would maim. Yeah, I would kill. Yeah, I would freeze all hell over just to get a chill. Yeah, I would slay. Yeah, I would maim. Now, he's written slay S-L-A-Y. I think, again, that's another red herring. I think that um, all of this hints to Mr. Lordy's true identity, which I believe, beyond a doubt, is actually... The truth is, I believe Mr. Lordy is Father Christmas. As if you can just look at all the tours he goes on, everyone, even fans have mentioned how all the other guys are slimming down a bit in their suits, and yet Mr. Lordy keeps getting a little bigger or he stays about the same. 
Now, a guy that's eaten about a billion mince pies once a year might be able to manage that as well as do all the tours that these guys are doing because they work damn hard. So to keep your weight up, I think a few billion mince pies and bits of milk would help. And as I said earlier, when he talked about going to Lapland with his dogs, I think it's more he's going with his dogs that have the antlers, yeah. And he's kind of getting the workshop going. I think we all know the truth now. So I'm going to let you think on that. I'm going to let you muse on the facts there. So um, and until then, I'm going to go. I'm going to get a safe house, going to change my name, possibly get sex changed, you know, get my face changed, because I think he might want to kill me now for saying all this. But it's done with love. Do love Mr. Lordy and all the others, especially Ox, you know, so... Anyway, that's all from me. Hopefully I won't be dead next time I want to make a video. Um, but I would encourage you very much to go out and buy the CDs because they are awesome. Um, hello! And also, before the video ends, I have to say thank you to my camera woman, who is Laura, who has her own channel. And she can be found um, on my subscriptions And uh, what are you? Richie Virgil Yowie at the moment? Yeah. Yes, she can be found under my favourites as all friends as Richie Virgil Yowie. Uh, go and check out her videos as well. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> it's in the singing of a street corner choir. It's going home and getting warm by the fire. It's true wherever you find love, it feels like Christmas. A cup of kindness that we share with another. A sweet reunion with a friend or a brother. In all the places you find love, it feels like Christmas. It is the season of the 